as usual straight to the point no long intros i will just explain straight away what i want to do today with you guys and i want to start this video by saying uh thank you to everybody subscribing to my channel i'm really happy to start engaging with you guys this is a brand new business and everybody here on youtube is brand new on this business so uh, i want to create a community around this the biggest community here so feel free to subscribe to comment on the videos and if you have any questions you can just leave it in the comments and i've created a hundred percent free discord group so you can check it out again in the description below so you can interact with other people in the future i'm planning to create a sort of marketplace where people actually can offer services create engagement you know all these different things but right now let's just jump into the video because today i will explain this bot this is a car dealership bot that has the feature to book appointments and send automated emails to the person that is talking to so this is I'm, I'm demonstrating the bot after that i will show you exactly how this bot is built i will give you all the codes all the templates everything will be available in the description below 100 percent, all this stuff is for free so let's jump into this bot i want to explain first how it works and then i will show you at the end of the video this new tool is called voice flow that i think it's better than bot press but right now let's just jump into this one and i will just test it out for you guys and show you how it is so you will have the same template and i will show you how to change the automation to make it work with zapier stack ai with everything so right now we just say hi to start the conversation with the bot and the bot what it does it replies to the user saying they already know what car you want to buy because this bot is created with a specific website. Then I will show you the website, all the information. But right now, I just want to show you how the bot works. So you have the options here. No, I don't. I don't want to go through the no, I don't, because then it's just a loop. I'll show you here the loop, though. No, I don't. It's just a loop that goes here. Say, no problem. Let me know when you're interested in getting something. Then if the person refreshes the page, it starts again. Then So this is the only path that we want to check. So this one... Uh, I don't care about, no, I don't. I just want to show you how it works when we actually want to buy something. So we select, yes, I have an idea. Then from here, the bot asks to the user what car you want to buy. And of course, this bot is trained on the data of the website of the car dealership. The car dealership is this one over here. So the person can actually ask to the specific bot in this case, you know, I am interested in the Volvo or a uh, black SUV. I'm just doing black SUV just to keep it generic, you know, black SUV. And what the bot does, searches in the inventory of the car dealership and gives the person an answer. So in this case, uh, since I've said black SUV, uh, the bot says here, um, GLK class, formatic, blah, 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 all this information. And is giving all this information to the user in this case. Then it says, are you happy with the search or you do want me to, to add something specific? Then I said, no, I'm happy and I want to proceed because again, if we go back on the no, then we start the loop again. I just want to show you how it works when the person actually already knows what it wants to buy. Once we say yes, we have uh, the bot says, what is your name? We can say Joe Rogan. Then the bot asks for the email. The email is Joe Rogan podcast at gmail.com then of course we have the phone number in this case i just put some numbers over here and then it starts with the actually booking section of the bot in this case let's go back here i will show you so um, i just want to show you how this thing works so we have the first question uh, yes or no and then again now we have a loop and goes back here yes we say we get all this information then say i'm happy let's go with the name the email phone number again then we have the booking option. This is the code that now is working on the back end. So we have um, you say yes, because we want to book an appointment in this case. When are you planning to book the appointment? Let's say 10th of August at 4 p.m. And then what happens is we just send a confirmation email with the juicy book information to Joe Rogan podcast. Uh, keep an eye on your inbox. Now, uh, since I created this specific email, we won't see the email, but it works. So I will show you how to set up everything. So what happens is the bot has now created the appointment for the dealership, for the customer, and has sent a confirmation email to the customer as well. Collected all the information from the customer. So the name, which car the customer is interested in, uh, the email, the phone number, again, all this information is saved as variables by the bot 
thanks to Zapier and gets all the information on the dealership with all the tools that I will show you in a sec. So since I've saved my per, my specific email of my company into this calendar on this automation, I would see an appointment on the 10th of August. So let's go and check this information together. And if we go on the calendar over here, as you can see at 4 p.m. Joe Black SUV. So we know exactly who is coming, the date and the time as well. So this is all automated. Again, the bot is just asking the person the information, is getting the information, is booking the appointment again over here. So how we can create all these automations together? I will show you everything. Again, this is for free. I don't want you to then click on the link, you pay whatever. It's for free. I mean, this, we're all in this all together. It's useful for you guys to understand how everything works. So let's start from the beginning. Let's first get information to add to the knowledge page of BotPress. So then the bot knows exactly how, what to provide to the customer as a solution when their customer asks for, let's say, black SUV in this case. So we get to, we need to get the information from this website. To get information, we can use a script tool it's called browse.ai. Of course, I have read it over here because I already did it for the specific bot in this case. You will find this information here in BotPress. You go here on the knowledge base and you will find everything here. So what I did, I actually copied some text from the website, the hours, uh, the information about the dealership, the specific information over here. Then we will use the file that we created from here on Stack AI to get this information here. So I will show, I will explain everything. So don't worry, just sit down. If you need to rewatch this video, do it. If you need to pause the video, pause it. It's free. You don't need to pay anything. So do it because it's a bit of information, not super complicated, but you need to understand where to put information. So uh, as, as I was saying, we copied the text here from the dealership in this case. So we get information from a website that we want to check. And we add the website here in the beginning. As you can see, I've added the website of the dealership in this case. Then we need to get a file that we need to feed to Stack AI. To do that, we we'll use Browse AI. So I will show you how to set it up so you know exactly how to make it work. So you go here, you create a new bot. So now I say extract structured data because that is what we want to do. We paste the website over here. Oh, I've already saved this. And then I click on start recording task. When I do that, the bot say, okay, I understand. The bot will open the website and this guy you see here starts looking at whatever I'm doing. Right now, it's not recording anything. So what you need to do here, you load all the page. So the bot, you know, gets all the information. Then you go here at the beginning of the page. Yeah, you need, you need to start saving the information of the bot itself. So to do that, you click here, then you click on capture list. And then we start selecting what we want to save in this case. This is up to you. I mean, uh, you can save as many information as you want. You can save two information. I would say just add more information. So when the bot recommends a car, in this case, it's a car, but could be whatever you want. Uh, you have more information to provide to the, to the end user. So in this case, I have to be careful. So I select the entire section of the car. Then I go here, I select this and I say capture visible text. Then I select the price. Just be careful a little bit with this because sometimes it's not super accurate. So we select this, select this, the engine, body style, stock number, we don't care, the doors, transmission, and drivetrain. Once we do that, we just press enter on the keyboard and this comes up. So we need to start giving names and titles. This will be the columns that the, the bot creates to save the information. So in this case, this is the car name or car type as you want. Then we have this is the price. This is the color. This is the VIN. This is the engine. Engine. Engine type, let's say. Body style. Doors. O porte in italiano. Transmission. Drivetrain. And we have the list like this. Then we select 100. And we select. There are no more items to load over here because we have everything in one single page. After we do this, we name this list. We say new list, blah, blah, blah and we capture the list. We wait for a sec to this, for this tool to load the information and then we select finish recording. Then it's op it opens this page. We have to name the bot, new bot car, blah, 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 save. 
And now the tool is actually saving all the information. So it's going on the website and one by one, selecting all the information that I've selected. So the car, the name of the car, the, the engine, drivetrain, all this information will be saved in a CSV file. Now, I mean, you can wait this here if you want to. I mean, since we already did it, this is the file. So I'll show you how it looks like. Then you open the file, you click on download CSV, you download over here and you go on Stack AI to upload the file over here. So okay, let's set up Stack AI. So you have, this is just super simple. So you have it selected over here. So first thing you need to do is of course, start with a brand new input. To do it, you go here on the left, you do inputs, input, and you have the input over here. So I redo it down here so you see exactly what I have to do. So we have the input over here. After that, you have to create a new LLM OpenAI in this case. So we go on LLMs on the left, OpenAI over here. Model, you can do 3.5, 4, it's up to you, or you can do 4. And then I give you all the templates as well. In this case, it's super simple. You are car dealership. In this case, auto house, new market, a car dealership. Help customer find what he's looking for and provide the link. In this case is the link of the car and on the website that we actually saved. And where, where is getting the information from the file that we are feeding into here that we got from Browse AI. I hope everything makes sense. So this is just the preparation for the stack AI to work. So this is actually a backend structure that we have that's communicating via BotPress with the APIs in the code here in BotPress. And I will show you how everything is set up. Oh, and then, sorry, we have to add another thing here. So you then you go here, you collect this too. Then you have the, uh, the output over here at the end. You just do this. Then you add offline data loaders, document and search. And here you upload the document in this case. Now, now I won't do it again. Uh, but it's super simple. You click here, select the file, and you upload it. Just super simple. And of course, you have to connect this one and you have to connect this one as well. So here at the beginning, you say, uh, what is that bot is about? So I want a car. So this is usually what is the customer asking for. Then the GPT-4, here I will show you the text. This is the system. The prompt to say, find a match for this variable over here. Uh, there's, there's an input over here. So find a match for the input that the customer asked for over here from the document that is this one over here. So you need to save the name of the document. So this case is doc emb1 and this one is doc emb0. So as you can see, I saved the variable here zero. If, if you cannot find it, give the closest match. I forgot to add match here actually. If the match is not close, if there is no closest match, direct them to something you think they will like and inform them nothing matches. And then again, you have the output. So the end of the conversation. So I hope this everything is clear. This is the only technical thing you need to do in order to connect Stack AI to BotPress. So again, this here is just for the bot to have a database that you can actually use to provide information to the user. Again, this new tool here that is VoiceFlow, I will create videos specifically to this specific tool, it's called again, VoiceFlow, hasn't built in a knowledge base, you can actually upload over here. So if you didn't, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new videos about this new tool that now everybody will start using. Trust me, this tool is just many times better than BotPress. So going back to what we need to do. So right now, what we did, we saved information on BotPress about the website, we have our new bots that of course you are you have imported because you have the script that I gave you. So you, you have all this information here. You have now your stack AI, you have your CSV about the car dealership. So you're pretty much done. So now you just need to add two or three specific information into BotPress to do the API calls on Zapier and of course on stack AI. So first thing first, here the first API call will be this one and this one, as you can see, execute code and execute code. These two are related to Stack AI. To get this information, this is what you need to do. You click here. Again, you will have the same exact code that you see here that I have. You can do the same steps that I'm doing. Then you go in st on your Stack AI. Then you have to click here on deployments and Stack AI gives you already useful information that you can copy paste on your code on BotPress. So first thing you need to copy is this link over here. The first link, now I won't show everything. 
because mine, of course, is different from yours. This first link goes on here, endpoint link. The second thing, the second information here is your specific API key. Now you don't have it because you see all, all access here. But to do that, you just click here on show token. Then you copy this entire text over here, bearer, <laughs> sorry for my pronunciation. And then you go, uh, and you, you will have uh, your alphanumeric uh, code over here. So your API key, and you will copy this here on the public key. Okay. So this is the only two things you need to change. So you change it here on the yes car and under standard one as well. You have the same exact code. It's the same exact thing. So you copy paste the deploy link from Stack AI. So it's the first link here under the deployment tab on Stack AI. And then again, you click on show token. If you don't see it over here, you copy this line over here and you paste it again under better public key. And you're, and you're done. Now your uh, Stack AI is connected to your bot press. So whenever the user asks for a black SUV, the Stack AI integration using GPT-4 will interrogate the file that we provided and we get information, giving the information to the user. Now we have to set up the rest, how we collect the data, set the variables, and how to schedule automatic appointments. This is super easy, all done in Zapier, but before doing that, we need to connect our Zapier to BotPress as well. I have already explained this in a previous video, so if you didn't, you can go back and watch my previous video. I'll go a little bit more in depth on how to do it. Here, I will just go a little bit faster, but I will still explain how to do it specifically. So um, we have to go on our uh, BotPress again, and the information that we need to add will be here. And the last two blocks here, one is dealer info, the other one is booking. So the first code is the code over here. And we need to add our Zapier link over here. And then we'll be do doing the same thing. We don't change anything else. Then we would be doing the same thing on the other code over here. Again, we click on here and we have the Zapier link as well. What is this link? Where we get this link? So we go on Zapier. Now I already created everything, so it's easier for you guys to follow up, follow along with me. But you have to create a new app called Webhooks by Zapier. Then you have to select the event catch hook, and then you will have this URL. This URL is the URL you have to copy in BotPress. It's super, super easy. I mean, come on, just copy paste the link here uh, on this first section over here and on this code over here. And the bot is pretty much done, guys. So now every time the user gives the name, email, phone number, and booking question, we get that in a sec, the bot here, the Zapier integration is providing all the information in a Google Sheet that I will show you in a sec. So we have selected the webhook. Then on this section, we have connect Zapier with Google Sheet. You log in with your account. Then you said you select create spreadsheet row then you select the account, then you go on the Google Drive, in this case, a Google Sheet file over here that has the name, email, phone number. I've selected this as car want, and then I have the appointment on when the customer is actually getting the appointment. I will explain everything, it's just two minutes, we're almost done, so stick with me. Uh, let's go back here. So what happens is then we have to select, of course, our file, which sheet, in this case, is the number one, because we have only that one, and we were telling the hook, the name is name. Email is email. Car want is the response that, that they have over here. So to be more specific is the response that the bot gave to the person when the person asked for a specific car. In this case, this car over here, as you can see, and then if you go back on a file, it's saved over here. So Zapier is telling the, the Google Sheet in this case, this is the name of the customer, this is the email, this is what they're interested in, and this is when the appointment is created. So this is just auto compiling all the information in the Google Sheet. But again, we want to go a step further. So since we are booking the appointment for the customer as well and send notifications to the customer, we add another app. In this case, it's called Google Calendar. And we do Google Calendar. What we are doing, we add a new event. What account? My account in this case. Then steps on the calendar, we create, we are adding the event on this calendar here. We can add the information about the event. We can select all the information will be related to the appointment in this case. In this case, I've added just the date, the name of the customer and what car the customer wants. And on the attendees, I just leave it in blank. And 
that's set up. Now the appointment is created, but let's go a step further again and send an email to the customer as well, confirming the appointment, all automated. So we had another application, in this case, it's Gmail. What is Gmail doing? Send an email from what account? Of course, my account in this case, to who? The customer, from who? Me, of course. Name on the email, in this case is my email. Reply to me. So when the customer replies, it goes to me directly. Subject line, body type, in this case, we go plain. And we say, hey, name of the customer. We can actually add the variable that we saved here at the beginning on, in, in the hook that we got from BotPress over here. Uh, where is it? Over here. It, hey, customer, your appointment was booked for the date for this specific car. So now what happens is the customer gets a confirmation email. The appointment is created for the customer. The appointment is created for me as well and everybody's happy and nobody's actually doing anything manually. All thanks to Stack AI that is collecting the information from the website. Then we have BotPress that is collecting all the data together. We have here the connection with Stack AI to do the API calls and the API calls here to Zapier to collect the data of the customer as well. So this is all set up. Again, if you need to rewatch this video, go back, stop the video, rewatch it. If you have questions, let me know. I try to go through everything. Uh, again, it's not super hard to set up, but it could be challenging if you don't know how to create it. So follow my steps and you will have the same results that I have. And again, next week, I will share with you this new tool, it's called VoiceFlow. And again, it's super useful because there's a lot of built-in features that BotPress just doesn't have. With that said, we are done. I, I go straight to the point. I tell you what I need to tell you and then you start working. I'm happy about this new business because it's super interesting. It's a brand new opportunity for everybody. I want to build a community again for free. You will find all my resources in the description below. If you have questions, please do reach out to me. I read all the, the comments. And if you didn't, and if you would like this content, give it a like, because that helps a lot this channel. That said, thank you again for watching this video. And I'll see you next week with a brand new video.